Uh, joining us uh, is Chappie, one of our guest pickers, of course. We have a lot of uh, people to join us each week and pick games. Chappie Kemp. Yes, I have, Don. Uh, yes, I have. And I plan on plan on tuning in tonight. How do we look? Looks like you look excellent. I mean, you have to cut out about 80% of the show to make it appropriate, but it looks really good. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't ask you about I mean, the content. I just wanted to know if he looked but, okay. You know, <laughs> by the time that you did all your editing and splicing, I'm surprised you could even fill that time in. Okay. We but, just... yeah, you look really good. Both of you look like you belong on Rodeo Boulevard. We were just kind of finishing <laughs> for a compliment. Didn't really need any Son editorial. Absolutely, absolutely, Blake. Thank you. Jasmine's also here on time. Jasmine Sadry. You know Jasmine. What's up, DFs? What's we, going on? Are you drinking had... already? Yeah. If you guys are, so am I. We've had We're her at a party. She's You're been in studio <laughs> and given her whole story in the past. You just so. woke up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just I'm working hard for No Puppet Productions. How mm. do you think I get stuff done? Mm. That's why Apparently there's always, inebriated. That's why there's always misspellings in your emails. Yeah. Well, whatever. Y'all get the point. <laughs> God, red wine at God. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is so judgmental. I can't. What is wrong with red wine at one? Red wine always. It's good for the heart. It is. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, not, Thank you. Not two and a half bottles a day. <laughs> <laughs> because at this rate, that's what she's going to end up at by 7 o'clock tonight. Listen, my ticker is healthy. Because oh. it's going to be 3.30, and she's going to be like, yeah, you know, I, I deserve another one. Then, yeah. well, i got to drink at 5 o'clock. And then, mm -hmm. yeah. It's time to switch to a Chardonnay. All right, our weekly no, picture, oh, uh, no. weekly uh, football pickers during the week are going to be uh, Chappie, of course. He wants to move to Vegas just to gamble. He's great at it. Just ask him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have Jasmine. Uh, we also have uh, Akash Singh, and uh, he joins us. Oh, Akash joins us from somewhere. I was going to yep, say. Where he, am I? Miami. I literally forgot where I was for a second. The life of the stand-up comedian. He was Amazing. in Vegas last yeah. week. Now Miami. Yeah. yeah, it was a nice run. Honolulu, Vegas, and Miami. And then after this, Timonium, Maryland. So it ends. It ends now. <laughs> okay. Maryland. One of these doesn't belong. So you're at your yeah. Miami house? You have houses in all these places? Or what's the situation? No, no, no. I have a, a, a hotel, and I only can afford these places with a friends and family discount. So Whatever, you rich that's comic. That. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> stand -up Not a comics. sentence that's ever been said. Stand-up <laughs> comics are so rich these days. Mm -hmm. Like three of them. Some of us are, yeah. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I yeah. um I predicted a big year for Akash Singh, and uh, I drafted him in my SNL fantasy draft. Oh, wow. So I, you need to be hosting SNL by the end of the season. <laughs> or the musical guest. Um, okay. I'll, yeah. do, I'll do my best. Yeah. I've got faith in 2025 more than this year, but I, it can be done. I'll drink to that. Okay, yeah. Jasmine's Shocking. already drinking. I wish I had faith in any year past now. So like, stand-up comic guy, <laughs> let's talk to stand-up comic guy <laughs> for a second. Because you, like, get up real early, yes, right? Sir. Aren't you, like, a 7 a.m. guy? Yet? No, not at all. Not at all. Oh. I was up at 5 today, but that's because I have insomnia. That's when you go to sleep, though, right? Like, 5? No, I used to. Now I'm, I try to be in bed by midnight. This is a brand-new thing I'm starting, though. Usually it's, like, 1 a.m., but now I'm trying to do, like, a circadian rhythm, just get better sleep thing. How's that working? Just hmm. catching. It sucks. Obviously we'll not working. Hopefully you were up at 5 a.m. I know. I know. This is the first week though, so I got to give it a few days, and then and then we'll go. Oh, you just started it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna it's die too. <laughs> um. So Chappie, off the air, and uh, to join us soon, we've been told Mike mm -hmm. Saroy, who will definitely. Well, you know why he's not here? Definitely, he will have a cocktail. Um, I know why he's not here, but it's a bear trap if you, unless you want to mess around. Well, n n well, I, I mean, I'm assuming because it's National Bald is Beautiful Day. Okay. He's running yes. Late. Let's go with that. Cool. It's better than the, uh, the hospital visit he's making right now, Jasmine. I know. <laughs> what an ass I am. I didn't know that. I know. How? You guys, you have to feed me these things. That is unbelievable. We told you, but you forgot because you've been Yeah, drinking. you're Probably. wasting. I was talking. Anyway, Chappie, off the air, you uh, wanted to start talking football already. You're real fired up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got fired up uh, starting last night. What a what a butt kicking. But, uh, yeah, it looks like a good weekend. You know, the, the really cool thing about week two 
is you really get to see a lot of separation from uh, offensive plays. So, yeah, I'm fired up about it. No one has ever said that. The cool, <laughs> the cool thing about week two. <laughs> well, Champion. I tell you what, you hang around. I got quite a few of those kind of things. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, no, you were fired up. You wanted to start talking to Jasmine about uh, Quinn Ewers or something. Yeah, Dan, Good you hushed man. us. Yeah, I said, no, I let's mean, do this on the air. That was a beatdown, wasn't it, Jasmine? Yes, it was. And thank God, because my last week sucked balls. As far as uh, your game picking or just yeah. your personal? Well, I mean, okay. in general. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's fair. Game picking sucked. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, because I might have actually uh, actually done both this week, um, the game picking and personal, because I was, I was not good at the game picking last week. But, you know, uh, traditionally, Chappie, it's tough to pick those first week or two. Yeah, you know what? Especially since there's a lot of folks laying back on preseason. You, you really can't see what you got and what you do have out there. It's very vanilla. But I would say – that I think more coaches probably down the road are going to lean more into a little bit more of their players uh, playing in preseason because you're really seeing some really slow starts last week. Um, you know, out of the out of the box. Hey, Akash. Yes, sir. Do you got like a whole new set than the one we saw? I like do, I do. Forty-five I'm still whole new it. I'm gonna spend like a year on it, but yeah, I could, I could do fifty right now if I needed. Damn, that's so cool. Fifty minutes. So yes, you sir. spend a year on it before actually like letting people record it? Um, yeah, this is a. It's, I guess each one is different. This one, I wanted to like really hit every market and put a lot of time into it. I don't want to be like the guys that try to put one out every year and then the quality just goes down. So I'm, I have an outline of what this is going to be, but I want to really like pour myself into it and spend time on it. You're such an organized comic. We got any Dallas shows? Uh, I'm, I'm saving that actually. I'm, maybe I'll film the special there. Are you, are you as organized as Orny Adams? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Does anybody know who that is? No, mm, no. Um, He's in a documentary called Comedian with Jerry Seinfeld, yes. and um, you watch why this guy is unsuccessful and you see why Seinfeld is successful, essentially. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. I think he's like a cruise ship comic now. Yeah, it makes sense. What's so bad it's about something. that? It is something, right? I mean... He's making a living doing what he loves. He's he, yeah. Right. He's doing comedy. <laughs> it's it's kind of like the... On a uh, boat. On a giant boat. Yeah, on a boat. Who doesn't want to be on a boat? Probably has his own room. Uh-huh. <laughs> Free drinks. They don't. Dude, I remember there was a time I was so broke. The cruise ship comic sounded like the coolest thing to me. I was like, "Dude, you're on a cruise. You're doing comedy, right? How could life be better?" Probably get and now buffet. I can do nothing more nauseating. Mm-mm. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you guys want to make some picks? Yeah. Or talk about the Let's weekend games? Yes, you want to let Chappie lead us off because he's kind Please. of our betting leader. He is spitting fire. I want to hear this, Chappie. Okay, well, let's first – I'll go with the uh, Cowboy pick, okay? Oh, okay, yeah. So, every week we're going to make three picks. The Cowboy game, as usual. This week they are favored by – Six. Six. Okay, at home against New Orleans. Six and a half is what <laughs> I saw. Okay. Six and a half. Six and a half? That point five. You have to get a triple play or a lock or whatever you want to call it. And then one – you also pick a knockout game – just for advice to help our fee, uh, folks who <laughs> – Chappie's wearing a <laughs> cowboy hat now. Chappie's a boss. What Korean yes. bodega be on, did you get that hat from? This will be out on YouTube <laughs> over the weekend. Well, um, let me tell you something. This hat is straight from Northside, and this is a very, very nice hat. Now, let me take that off for a minute. <laughs> Northside of Vegas. These are uh, Porsche – Sunglasses, you won't touch them under 600, but one of the key things is is these pop out, and you can Whoa. just plug in another version that I have. They're all by Magnus. They come in four different colors, depending upon how your mood may be. But let me Why take that off. Why do you need that? Are you doing a live spot? What are we doing right Depending now? on your mood. <laughs> let me take that off so I don't distract the uh, <laughs> listener. That's fantastic. Okay, 
Can I please go? God, please. Yes, please. We've been. No, okay. nope. Oh, but okay. I, I did want to say three games, and then we're in a we have a knockout league that a lot of our listeners are in. Well, actually, quite a few less than started uh, yeah. because did fifty percent of the people have yeah the Bengals? Yeah, right at half. And of course, I had the Bengals last week. Oh, Chappie, you had the Bengals last week. I sure did. Yeah, yeah that was your only loss. On this, that was your only loss. Somebody on yeah, somebody on this show that that gave me some. Uh, Indications that might not be a good pick, and I just went ahead and plowed away with it anyway. But good um, for you, Chappie. Screw what they think. Yeah, you know, I, I I go down swinging. You know, if the Titanic's going down, I'm at least going to change chairs. The orchestra can still play up there at the top while Leonardo is swimming in the ocean, but I'm changing chairs. I'm, I'm doing something different. Just went for a swim. Okay, Cowboy game. Uh, Saints at Cowboys at home. Um, everybody saw the Cowboy game last week, but more importantly, um, they're laying six. I'm taking the Cowboys to handle the Saints. The Saints played the Panthers last week, had a, a high school score, 48 to 10 or something. But th- this particular game goes to me down to your different levels of quarterback. I put De- Derek Carr in the, the third level. Let's just say you do 10, 10, and 12 or whatever. I put him in the bottom third. I think he's going to have too much pass rush, too much defense. Cowboys got too much offense, so I like the Cowboys minus six. Okay, my knockout game, you have the uh, Chicago Bears and Caleb Williams headed over to my city of the last 12 years prior to moving to Vegas, Houston, playing the Texans. So since this is the knockout game, it's a money line only, just win the game. Uh, I like the Texans in this contest. As a matter of fact, just look at the Texans' offense. My gosh, they got Joe Mixon from the Bengals. They've got C.J. Stroud just lighting it up. They got Stephon Diggs from Minnesota. They got a great coach. Let me tell you something. If you're not a Texans fan, it's too bad, so sad, because for probably the next decade, they're going to be really, really good. And kind the Bears a, last week. I was going to say, though, week, kind of a tight game last week, though, right? Texans? You know what? But it was on the road. Score was a little misleading. Late score touchdown really didn't have an impact. But let me give you one thing about the Bears. Caleb Williams was the only quarterback out of 32 that didn't have a pass completion over 15 yards. He is not currently an NFL quarterback. I get all the USC hype. I get all that. He runs around a lot. He's not going to be able to do that with the D'Amico Ryan's defense he certainly is not going to put enough points up the texans are going to beat the bears i don't know by how much but they're going to beat them more than the money line and that's all you're looking for with a knockout okay so my triple play of the week i'm going west coast to east coast um the chargers are headed over to carolina by the way carolina panthers are the worst team out of 32 in my my estimations would it be any surprise if i told you that bryce young is second year has actually somehow or another gone backwards from the first year. He has thrown 81 pass attempts now, currently. It's, the streak is still running without a touchdown. The Carolina Panthers are by far, last week, the Saints housed them. Okay, so the Chargers are headed that way. They're laying five. It's going to be a very boring game. Harbaugh is convinced that he is going to get that offense just like Michigan. He is going to pound the rock, pound the rock, pound the rock. But I think Her- Herbert will get an opportunity this week to fling it a little bit here and there. Could be a 22-10, 24-14, whatever. I'm just looking for the Chargers to cover the five against arguably the worst team and right now the worst of the starting quarterbacks, Bryce Young. So I'm taking the Chargers minus five on the road against the Panthers. Chappies, lock of the week. <laughs> it's really amazing what has happened to that team since David Tepper bought it. Oh, it's horrible. Like, it's horrible. And they haven't like made one. Jones. Pardon? No, I was just going to say they haven't made one correct move. No, he, he is a Jerry Jones starter kit. <laughs> I really thought Matt Rule was going to be it, though. I thought Matt Rule was the guy. Oh, yeah. Well, the owner ran him out because 
if you look now, Mike Rule was probably a better college coach than pro. Uh, did you see Nebraska? I know they played Colorado last week, but yeah. Matt Rule has a quarterback. And look for Nebraska to stay very competitive all year long. Who puts yeah. H in the name Rule? <laughs> That's my yeah. hot sports take there. That's right. Have some Thank more you. water, Jasmine. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> all right, Danny, you want to make your picks for Jake? Yeah, sure. I don't know how, what he what he do last week. Um, okay. uh, that's irrelevant to what your picks are right now. Jake last week went. One <laughs> so in other words, you don't know. One and four. Yeah, one and four. Oh God, we can't do any worse than that, can we? No. Well, that's too cool. Buckle that's, up. That's, that's uh, cool. I'm not going to give a lot of qualifiers or reasons. Here's the picks. Cowboys are going to beat the Saints by more than six. My knockout, Dan. I'm taking the Browns plus three over Jacksonville. Wow. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, <laughs> the knockout pick. The knockout me- is just a win. The knockout pick means you can't pick either one of those teams for the rest of the season. Just, just the, the Browns. Just They're, the winner? Yeah. Good. I'm glad to get rid of that now. Um, <laughs> triple play. I've got. that. You have to think that's a terrible pick, right, Chappie? Well, I, I, I just want to clarify before a comment, and, and, you know, after five weeks, I'll be underwater anyway. Nobody will even ask me. But you're you're actually saying the Browns are going to go on the road and beat the Jaguars straight no, up? I'm saying they're going to not get beat by more than three. No, no, no. Knockout. That's not correct. So that's the knockout that. pick means just win. I did not know that. The triple play that or was the lock I, is, uh, uh, is my first against time the spread. That wasn't clarified at all. No, I don't think they're going to do that. Let's just reverse that then. <laughs> I'm going to take okay. Jacksonville over, Actually, over Cleveland. Who's okay. the one drinking wine now? I thought it'd be – yeah. Okay, and then triple play, I think that Texas will um, score – beat San Antonio by more than 35 and a half points. Dang. Yeah. Who are they playing? They're playing Utsa, University of Texas at San Antonio. The Roadrunners. Yeah. I think they've, they're they going to probably beat them by about maybe close to 60. I think you're probably right. I yeah. feel like Arch will have a couple of touchdowns in that game. Is that okay with you, Chappie? Is that a good uh, yeah. good bet? I, I think I think they're going to have to call a couple of ambulances there is what I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ambuli. Uh, right. Joining us now, guys – from Florida, Mike Soroy. Wow. I'm sorry. I can only do uh, audio only. I can't do video chat. I'm actually at the North Texas Food Bank just helping out. Uh, we, we see you in a pool with a beer. You're in a pool. You're in Florida. You have a beer. Uh, answering the question that so many have emailed and uh, contacted me and asked me, Where's Mike Saroy? Oh, where's Mike Saroy? Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that the look of a guy riding out a big-ass severance package or what? Yes. <laughs> My yes. God. It's not that big. There's only eight and three-quarter months left. Uh-huh. All right. Left. It's fine. I'm, uh, I'm down here uh, interviewing for the lightning play-by-play job <laughs> in, uh, in Florida. And having a hell of a time. What are we doing? Man, you look. Danny's sitting down very good. You look so Saroy. <laughs> you look as Saroy as I've ever seen you look. Say <laughs> hi to uh, Akash Singh and Chappie and Jasmine and, and turn, everybody. Turn your phone sideways, too. Holy shit. Akash Singh? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. There we go. Actual, look at him. Actual talented, famous people doing this with us. Holy oh, wait a shit. minute. Come on. Screw you. you. <laughs> Oh, look, it's Jasmine. Finally, right, Saroy? It's about time, dude. I know. No shit. There he is. Look at this handsome bastard. God, good hey, to thanks, see you buddy. All. Are you in Miami? I am not in Miami. And speaking of Miami, I was busy last night, so no one say anything. I have the Dolphin game DVR'd. So oh, I'm going to no. watch it right after this. Mm. We got Tua, and we got the end of this Bills bullshit streak. And uh, we're going to get it done. So I'm heading in to watch that here in a minute, man. I can't wait. Yeah, You're going to love it. Yeah. You great. don't know the outcome? Yeah. Can't be honest. It's 3 p.m. the next day. This is on you if somebody tells you. Like, this is absurd. You no, know, I'm with him. 21 hours. I support wow. Saroy. 
And yeah, if any of you idiots think that Mike Soroy is not watching a Dolphins yeah, game, that's true. yeah, it doesn't <laughs> matter what he is, uh, what bear trap he is involved in. Um, <laughs> Don't you have some Zubas, like Dolphin Zubas? Yeah, he does. If, if yeah, my people camera, with Dolphin Zubas aren't DVRing games. If my camera could go underwater, I would show you. I would show you the Zubas that yep. are on right now. But you're now. not wearing any bottoms, so don't do that. <laughs> it's a home Oh, pool. do it. We need the impressions. It's a home pool. God, look at him. We don't need dong clicks. Yes, we do. <laughs> you know what we need? A second uh, flamingo is what we need, and I got it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the <laughs> flamingo floaties my, in his pool. That could have been my, you, Danny. My yeah. two friends. Yeah. Yeah, Danny. It's the fine print, homie. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> so did you look at the email? Did you see, uh, do you want to pick games? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I, 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 I don't think I did so hot last week, but it looked like everybody sucked from what I could tell. So we're right in the mix. Chappie um, and Blake were like, both four and one. Blake, though, like keeps the record, so we can't trust that. And uh, I, I say them on the air now. Chappie is a degenerate gambler. So. <laughs> Chappie's, Chappie's my only fellow high-level handicapper in this league, so he's kind of the only record that I do care about. The rest of you guys, I know that it's all going to work out in the end, so... Okay. Uh, I'm not happy with how I did last week, but yeah, I'm ready to go, man. What do you want? Which one do we do? Which one do we do? Let's go cowboy game, then uh, then your lock, then your triple play. Okay, it's not a bit. I did bet against the Cowboys last week, and it did not work out. Um, but I'm betting against them again. Give me the Saints. I believe it is plus six points. Wow. Uh, who who dat or who day? Whichever ones is is theirs. I'm taking the Saints. To, uh, they're not going to win. Cowboys will win, but it'll be close. So give me the Saints plus six. You have it. Oh, pause for a sip of beer. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I was pa I was pausing for Blake to write it down. I heard no pencil, so yeah. that's why I was yeah, waiting. Like, chappie has got the pencil. I need the number nine pencil. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then lock. Uh, I am taking TCU. The the Heck Horned yeah. Frogs. They're playing UCF. It's actually TCU's first time playing a team from Florida since 1992. How stupid is that? It's uh, really exceptionally yeah. stupid. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty wild. But yeah, give me uh, give me TCU <laughs> to cover. I think you have it at minus one. What are you doing? What he's, is happening? He's waving into the air. Oh, okay. There's a helicopter. That's ridiculous. And, uh, and then I'm one of the few people alive in the uh, survivor lock thing, and I am getting down on uh, the Houston Texans this week. They're at home against, uh, I don't remember, somebody kind of shitty. Chappie, tell them. Oh, wait. The Houston Texans. Yeah. Did you take them? Yeah, you took them, Chappie. Uh, this should be on the top of your head. Yeah. Yeah, the Bears. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He wasn't paying attention. He wasn't. I was paying attention. It just, it just, uh, I was looking up at the sky. I don't know if that was a helicopter. Mike, yeah, yeah, that's probably a helicopter. Yeah. It's a big helicopter to cover I, six states. I, okay, I well, you, you definitely them. hit it on the head when you said the Bears are shitty. There the Bears are so <laughs> overhyped. Totally agree. Are they ever hyped? Uh, uh, they got a lot. There's a bit Ask of hype. The Bears fan. There's a bit of hype coming out of the hard knocks and whatnot, you know? Yeah. A lot, yep. of, a lot of people are like, hey, they were just a quarterback away, and this is it, and we now got our guy, and, and I agree. And they, they may be, that may very well be true, but not this year. He's got a long ways to Strong go. Strong defense, got a couple good wide receivers. Long way to go. All right. You heard it here. You heard it here first, folks. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I'll make my picks very quickly. I like uh, for the Cowboys. I like the Cowboys. I think they will destroy at home. I like for my triple play. Well, let me just give you my lock, first of all. My lock, I'm going to go with uh, – I, I want Chappie to like this. I'm saying picks, and I want Chappie to nod and say, yeah, this is good. Uh, give me Philly Monday night at home against Atlanta. That's my uh, knockout pick. Like, it's just – they just have to win. They're favored by six, I think, six and a half. And yep. Atlanta was able yep. to score ten whole points against Pittsburgh last week at home. Now they have to go on nah. the road on a Monday night. Tell me that's a good pick, Chappie. You know what? I, th I think it's a great pick. I don't like the six and a half. You don't have to cover that. But, you know, one thing, maybe Blake or somebody, 
Something looked wrong with Kirk Cousins last week. He didn't look right. I think, I he's think still the problem hurt. is that he's Kirk Cousins. He is. <laughs> Fair. He's, he is still Doc Kirk Rivers Cousins. Of the NBA of the NFL. No matter yeah. what happens, he ends up. It, yeah. It's still him. Well, then, then you should be in great shape because that's a prime time game on Monday night, and he always folds like a cheap lawn chair. <laughs> and <laughs> a cursy laugh from the actual comedian. And <laughs> <laughs> For my uh, triple play, my lock, whatever you want to call it, uh, I have uh, Detroit is at home. They are favored by eight. They are coming off a very emotional game, though. It was a big game to play against uh, Matt Stafford and, uh, you know, former uh, hometown hero, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Not home. You know what I mean. The point is, a little bit of letdown (laughs) this week. And you know who's ready to come in there and just dash their dreams on at least winning by eight? Probably the team they're playing. That will be one (laughs) Baker Mayfield will be Uh leading Tampa into Detroit. Baker gets eight points. Give me Baker Mayfield for my lock of the week. And uh, the comeback. That's what they're going to call this. My picks. Hmm. Because I will overtake Chappie this week. Oh, and he doesn't seem to be. Uh, he's not. He doesn't no, sweat. he's not worried phased. about that at all. He's not plussed. No, you know what? I I I toyed with that for probably a couple of different days. I think I think it's going to be very close game. I think the eight points is certainly within reason. I mean, Mayfield was so effective last week with Godwin and Evans, and they got a running game. They're 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 a really good team. Lastly, you know, the playoff game that they knocked them out of last year was Detroit in a in the in the playoff. And it was twenty it was twenty three thirty one. And there it's you go. at eight points. There so, you go. There I, you go. I think I just gave you three points because that's a winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> did Je- did Jasmine pick yet? No. No. Well then let's go. What are you waiting just on? Read my email at this point. Right. Are we up against time? No, there's no time here. Okay. All right, so let's start with Cowboys Saints. But uh, my drug addict kid <laughs> got a job last week. I feel like they're going to keep a job, show up to work. So I'm going to flip the script. I bet against them last week. I'm betting for mm. them this Betting for them? Wow. I'm picking them to win, but they're not going to cover the spread. I say 23-20 Cowboys. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So oh, this is your lock of the week? No, you're, this you're, is just you're my you're Cowboys. Knockout. This is my Cowboys Oh, Kappa. Cowboys. Yeah. But they have to win by the spread, though. They have to? This is oh. the way you pick against Well, then change it to 27 to 20. <laughs> there we go. We covered the spread. Okay. <laughs> wow. She's... So you want the Cowboys? <laughs> I do want the Cowboys. She studied this game hard. Yeah, okay. There we go. 27-20. Okay, my next one, I'm straight up picking the Chiefs to beat the Bengals. I looked at the injury report for the refs, and they've been cleared, so the Chiefs will have this one. Okay. Um, and then my lock shot. of the week, I'm going Apple Cup, baby. Washington Huskies versus Washington State. Um, can't root for Washington State anything because that kid that murdered those Idaho kids went to school there, so <laughs> I'm not a fan of. So I'm going – and I love – Dubs followed me on Twitter, so I love Washington. So let's go Washington for my lock of the week. They are going to cover the spread. 34-12. Wow. Nice. Big game. I, I saw- can hear you reading. <laughs> That's rude. I'm not reading. I have notes, so I don't forget because I've been drinking. I saw how they're promoting that game on, uh, I can't remember if it was ABC or Fox or whatever. I hate Mike Soroy. But uh, did you see the promo? It said two two teams, one cup. Oh, okay. Are you serious? What a 2006 that- reference. Do people even remember that? More, more of a 2002 reference, but thanks. Was it 02? I don't know. Uh, go search it. I never saw it. Okay. Is it good? You never saw Two Girls, One no. Cup? No. Oh, yeah, it's great. Wow. Is it? We're going to play it at the end of the show. Okay. Kinda no, like, uh, stop. That makes me want to uh, <laughs> Every day, Every day now, we'll play a new, uh, an old video of ours, a favorite. Mike, Mikey's going <laughs> to act it out in real life in the pool. I do want to do a segment with, called... With those penguins. <laughs> I want to do a segment. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, flamingos? <laughs> two penguins. Oh yeah, flamingos. One pool. Oh yeah, flamingos. Two flamingos, one pool. <laughs> two flamingos, one. Two flamingos, one shale. <laughs> All right, Blake. Patreon. All right. Um, 
Get your money's worth. Looking at the standings, yeah, it's just me and Chappie at the top at four and one. Um, oh, but who's looking? Yeah, yeah, I get, I got it right in front of me. See all the green next to my name. All right, uh, the Cowboys are a regular season team. Uh, they also play really well at home. The Saints are not good. That uh, that was a fake win last week against the Panthers. The Cowboys agree. Probably beat them by 24. So give me the Cowboys <laughs> minus six. Uh, for my lock, I think they'll win 26 to two. Okay. You know, just a safety. Okay. Uh, the lock, um, Chappie, you brought up Kirk Cousins. I'm going to bring up Joe Burrow. Do you guys see the video of mm-hmm. him not being able to pick up a Gatorade bottle? Like his wrist is I not did. right. They did not play well I against did. the Patriots. I love The him. Chiefs are at home and not getting a full touchdown against the Bengals. Are you kidding? Give me Chiefs minus six for my triple play. Bengals always no. play well there. Well, Joe Burrow's hurt. It's Jamar Chase is mad. T. Higgins doesn't want to play there anymore. All right. The Bengals are not a good football team anymore. And for my knockout pick, give me the Ravens. Now, we've all seen the stats of teams that start 0-2, never make the playoffs. Hardly ever. 10% of the team since 7 do. The Ravens will not be one of them. They will get in the win column, and uh, they're playing the Raiders. Raiders are no good. The Ravens are at home. Bounce back win for the Ravens. There's your 5-0 and week from me. Damn. All right. That well, was baller. Yeah. Whatever Blake just said was baller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think those are good picks, but he doesn't want to hear that from me. I want to hear it from Chappie. <laughs> well, I love those. You know that. Uh, oh, he's putting that heads back. Oh, yeah. shit. Uh oh, it's getting real. It's so big, it almost hit the ceiling, fan. Let me take it off a minute. Hang on just a minute. I hear that. <laughs> you know, uh, my next door neighbor, uh, my next door neighbor, yeah, right, I heard that too one time ago. Um, Not anymore. My next door neighbor is a starting player for the Raiders. Uh, next week, of course, I lived in Vegas for nine years. Next week, we're flying out to uh, Vegas, and uh, we're going to the home opener with him and his family. They, they still live right next door to me. But um, they don't have a starting quarterback, and that's going to hurt them. I mean, they got Minshew and they got O'Donnell, but neither one of them would probably start for any other of the 31 teams except for Bryce Young and the Panthers. So, yeah, that's probably going to be tough. You know, the, the Ravens have been off quite a while. And Are to you- your point, Blake, I'm not real sure what the Bengals – have they let Joe Mixon go? They they they've got contract disputes. And you're right. I saw him try to pick that drink up, and uh, something ain't right with him either. Drinks so, are heavy. Yeah, just ask Jasmine. Yeah. Cheers. Did you uh, do you still <laughs> mow your lawn? Chappie has an acre, and he mows it with a push mower. Shirtless. My He's about 65 years old. My mom does the same thing. Do you still do yeah, that, Chappie? Yeah. I'm still doing it. Um, actually, I've been here five years uh, from Vegas, and f- three of the years I've mowed it on my own. Last year I thought, well, I'll let these guys do it, you know, the regular dude that come out and do it. And I just didn't like it. So I took it back over. My, my house is on the market right now to be sold, so I, I have to try to keep it high and tight. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm. And finally <laughs> – we go now to uh, <laughs> to Miami. That's funny, isn't it? Yes. yes. Not where Mike, Mike Soroy is not in Miami, he claims. But Akash Singh is no. in Miami. Did you know that, uh, Soroy? Did you know Akash is in your no, state? No, dude, really? Yeah. Yeah, Miami? dude, I'm at the improv. No kidding. You want to come? Slammed. <laughs> Slammed. <laughs> Pretty busy. <laughs> Um, slam. Mike Sorius. <laughs> yeah. If, you. if you want Sunday, come through. We added a show, so I got no you. No joke, honestly. I'm three hours away in Sarasota. If I was anywhere closer, and I'm here taking care of my sweet mama. Um, um, otherwise, I would love to. I would love to. She looks like she's right, well, in if good she wants hands. To come, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if your tour winds down from big cities like Miami to play in like a uh, little little places like Sarasota, maybe the, the state fair or something that I'm definitely in. That will and never happen unless my career is in the shitter, but sure enough. <laughs> no, cool. okay. If it's like taste of Sarasota, you know, or something yeah. down by the water, I would love to, I'll support okay. you in that case. Is All there right. really a taste of Sarasota? <laughs> Absolutely. Is there enough of Sarasota to taste? Yes. Yeah, oh, hot dogs and spam. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Akash, would, galore. would you ever play uh, Branson? 
I uh, oh, actually, I no, no, I don't think so. Okay. I've only done St. Louis in Missouri, and that that was terrible. So I can't imagine the rest of Missouri is any better. I'd love to see a nice 11 a.m. comedy show <laughs> in Branson. Because when I stopped in Branson to see the Andy Williams Christmas show many years ago, before he was yeah. dead, uh, there's a some people in line. They were going to see. They were getting tickets for uh, Yakov Smirnoff's next day. Yikes. 11 a.m. show. He would do an 11 a.m. and a 1 p.m. every day, and that's all he did. Yakov Smirnov real? owns Branson. Yeah, so, that's pretty much everything I need is, to know about Branson. Wow. Is that kind of along the lines of uh, a cruise ship if you end up yeah, in Branson? Would, yeah, okay. exactly. That is Branson is the cruise ship of the United States. Okay. <laughs> all Perfect. Right. Let's pick you should do one, one in Mother Russia joke in honor of Yakov in, in Sunday's performance. Just a All little right. hat. Done. Tip. If All you're right. there, I got you. But if you're not there, nobody will get it. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. All right, I'm in. <laughs> All right, perfect. Um, okay. Hey, are we... Go ahead, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, you got it. <laughs> no. Go All right, fair enough. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. my right. picks. I got the Niners covering... Uh, they're playing the Vikings. I just don't believe that win was real against it was against the Giants. So I think they'll cover. Um, my, the Cowboys, I think, will cover. Uh, they are going to fail at some point, but I don't think it's this early in the season. And then for my knockout game, I, I'm just going to keep betting against the Raiders. I think I got the Ravens beating the Raiders. That seems like a very safe pick. Yeah, um, I agree. Chappie's already uh, signed off on that. He says yes. No, nice. not, on, nice. not on the first. Not on the first. Oh, he's video. got the glasses what? on now. What are you wearing now? Yeah. Jesus. I, he's like I quick change at the Mavs game. <laughs> I, I don't think. I don't think the 49ers will cover that spread. Oh, okay. Why is that? Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could have a little side bet. Well, why? I mean, I'm down. No. Uh, I, why? Akash, yes. Akash said why? Yeah. Uh, because. You always look for a breakout quarterback that had a kind of a turnaround year that's been in a good system that hasn't been and came out of the Shanahan tree last year, and that's their quarterback right now. And I think that he's finally going to have a pretty good year, and you saw it last week, and I think you're going to see it again. And Who else have you seen that with? Because you just named a lot of things, I'm going to be honest. Okay. <laughs> well, he's got to back it up. Think about this. Sam Darnold was the number one pick three or four or five years ago. He went to the Jets, poor coaching. He uh -huh. went to the Panthers, poor coaching. He goes to the Vikings. He immediately gets into that tree with their current coach. And I'm just my, – my opinion, just my opinion only. It's going to be a very tight game. You do know that the uh, 49ers got a couple of key players that aren't going to play. They're coming all the way from the West Coast. I just don't think that they're going to be on all cylinders. So I think that, I actually think the Vikings may beat them outright. I did not know they had key players out, and I would love if the Vikings won, but I just got I got to rock with it. So what can you do? Not Own, it. Own it. Like I said, like I said, after the third or fourth game, nobody's going to be asking me anyway because I'll probably suck. <laughs> well, now, Chappie, don't say that. You've got a hat and glasses. You can't say that. That's true. <laughs> in the meantime, my mower is running in the front yard burning gas. All right. Okay, get back to it. Get back to no, it. Thank you. Uh, good luck, Akash. Talk to you next week yes, from sir. whatever you guys. exotic locale again. Thanks. Uh, and uh, good luck to you, Saroy. Looks like you're he, uh, going he already, through some tough he time. Left. Oh, he's already gone? He's too yeah. good. He's left. Okay. Yeah, he's too well, good. Well, thanks to everybody. Good times. Thank you. Talk to you guys next week. All right. Cheers. Bye, Jasmine. Bye, boys. Oh, yeah. Bye. Don't love me.